Every year, the U.S. consumes over 30 billion disposable plastic water bottles. That's 85 million per day, which breaks down to 50,000 every single minute. Every minute. This high rate of consumption wouldn't be an issue if all of the plastic bottles consumed ended up in the recycling bins. However, only about 20% of that 30 billion actually gets recycled. The other 80% ends up here, instead of here. It takes 17 million barrels of oil every single year to produce the packaging for bottled water. That breaks down to 2 million gallons a day. Three times more water is put into making bottled water than is produced. So if you want a gallon of purified water, you need three gallons of tap water. Bottled water is of course more expensive than tap water. In fact, it's 500 to 1,000 times more expensive than tap water. No, in fact, reverse osmosis, the process by which most bottled water is purified, removes any fluoride from the water. This puts consumers of bottled water at a greater risk for cavities. Claims that bottled water of higher quality are also unfounded. The FDA regulates bottled water, while the EPA regulates tap water. What's significant about this fact is that while the FDA requires that bottled water companies test their water for contaminants, they are not required to divulge their findings to the public, while the EPA mandates that municipal sources of water must be tested and the results must be made public. Some studies have shown bottled water to contain more contaminants than tap water. It's important to note that Aquafina, the brand of water sold at Penn State, is sourced from local municipal supplies. Considering the waste, resource consumption, cost, and the fact that all of this stems from consumption of a product that is not much different from tap water, it is obvious that something needs to change. Penn State is giving out 70,000 reusable water bottles to students and faculty. In addition, they are installing refilling stations around campus that dispense purified water. Currently, there are about a dozen buildings that have refilling stations already installed. These buildings include Chambers Building, the IM Building, Willard, The Hub, where there are three, Findlay Commons, Forum Building, Petit Library, Thomas Building, The White Building, The Bank of America Building, Burroughs, as well as Rec Hall and the physical plant. Once the school's reliance on bottled water is cut down, Penn State must also reduce the amount of bottled water sold on campus. Penn State students can assist this process by supporting the implementation of refilling stations and procuring and using reusable bottles rather than purchasing bottled water. Penn State must seize the unique opportunity as a university on the world stage to set an example for sustainability and responsibility. We must no longer contribute to such a wasteful industry, as doing so would be quite distasteful. <laughs>